Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brian. Thank you for joining me today. Sigma and BRR present the IROC 100 from Darlington Speedway. Chaz Chadwick is starting on the pole, doing our army to the outside. One new hot shot uh, for this race Cooper Dwight in the 41. All of the hot shots are starting in the back half. Two of them have won the last two races. Sam Vital won Bristol, and Gannon Bird won their first outing at uh, Las Vegas. No, I've got that wrong. Uh, it's been too long since I've done any done all these races. Sam Vital won California. And Gannon Bird won at Bristol. Drivers, start your engines. Commentary is running a little bit behind schedule. So uh, apologies for that. Not really a whole lot of rambling before we get started. It'll be a short trip around. Everybody gets off of pit road. Good, good. You see Gannon Bird starting, I believe that's 11th. Cooper Dwight, the straight up rookie. In 14th. Lucas Holmes in 16th. Trevor Walker swaps seats with his uh, brother. Hopefully he has better. Alex Samatal in 21st. And there's your hot shots. Cars are canted a little bit to the inside. I would go over the, po the points with you, but at this point, because we have the potential for zeros, it makes no sense. Let's see how things are with one race to go. In other words, let's get done with Darlington. 74 laps, and we are under green. The front row gets a good start. Darlington is one of the few tracks where the low line is basically the middle of the track. Chaz Chadwick takes, takes sole possession of the lead coming out of turn two. One army fades back in turn three and four. Al Bunch moves up to second. Chaz Chadwick leads lap one here for Eric Darlington. Ah. This is why competent people do commentary, not idiots. James Gunner looking to regain some of their lost form. One army plummeting backwards. Brian the Blank taking up space. speed here at Darlington. 29 second laps. The top four nose to tail and they are in reverse order of the ladder. Trucks, two from what was the Bush series, is now uh, bridge to cup, and then the cup driver at Luis. Gunner in fifth. One army stems the bleeding in sixth. 
Morning and Bird, 7th and 8th. Look at that bright train of the cars rolling around Darlington. See Cooper Dwight had a very good showing at the Music Fest GP. Our only pure rookie on the evening. Could not get a straight answer on whether pit stops would be a thing or not. This being Darlington, I want to say yes, but take what I say with a grain of salt. Not really a whole lot of passing going on. Everybody's minding their business. Who's that is Andre Stefan who has fallen back. Stefan causing a little bit of a uh, accordion. And that's Nate Newman stuck on the outside. Justin Day 2, Tim Cording. Kellen Rolich is in dead last. Now, remember, the points are allotted from 1st to 19th. The roster was only planned to go to 20. A midseason change tacked on four more cars. 20th through 24th do not get anything. Only the top 10 get money and only the top... 19 get points. I can tell you now, Kellen Rolich is your points leader as of this moment. He will not be if this continues. Who will be? I don't know. There are still 18 drivers that could, in theory, win the championship, but that's going to be cut down by the, end of, by the end of this race because not everybody can score a zero. Chadwick still leads. Ten laps in. In fact, the top four are pulling away from the rest of the field. To be completely honest, this is the strongest that... The, three, the four of these cars, honestly, have looked all season. DeBlanc has been a flash in the pan at best. A bunch, I don't even think, has been that good. He finished fourth at Atlanta and fourth at California, but that's been all he has all season. And he's currently running second, so better than both of those races. Ryan the blank, the less said about him, the better. Yes, third at Vegas, but a blind squirrel finds it out every once in a while. At Luis, it's been very hot and cold all season. Media to you and one army, who is currently third in the standings, 295 points. 25 points behind the leader. We currently uh, bypass Kellen. Tom Cording. Tom Cording cannot win the championship. 57 points after rather poor performances. Gannon Bird, unfortunately, also cannot win the championship. As they just started, they hit. Yes, they are one for one, but they only have 100 points. Even if he won Darlington, Miami, he would still be 20 points behind Kellen Rulich.
Gunner, however, is in fifth place. Has not done well since he was promoted, but could turn that around with today's race. Tatum Bergeron is also out of contention. Willpower. There he is. Willpower is currently seventh. Elise Trost is fourth. Has been consistent for most of the season. Fifth, fifth, then two back half finishes. And then fifth and fifth again. Looks like when they may uh, keep that rhythm going, they get passed by uh, Tyler Shangle. Our first winner has not had a good season since. Finished fourth at Vegas, finished tenth at Bristol, but actually had no points at California. Trevor Walker, a hot shot. He's done well. And actually is still in contention. Two thirds and a twelfth will do that. Alex Sanvital got in just in time to actually compete fifth, first, and eighth in their three races, 215 points. They need to close, well, they'll close the gap as long as Kellen Rolich finishes where they are. Andre Stefan, not far behind, 191 points, needs a fair bit of help. Cooper Dwight, they're just in it for the money right now. Money and the glory. Danny Litowitz, two races to go in their career. Second, second in points right now. Only 15 points back, does not have a win or even a podium. But he's, his worst finish is 11th. Currently 17th. Lucas Holmes, barely in contention. The last one currently eligible. And he can pass Trost. Slick Splane. Just ahead of Lucas Holmes in the standings. Only has one podium finish all season. That was at Bristol. and Bunch have uh, been passed by Atlee Weiss. Looks like Justin Daytu is on the move. I believe tires are uh, giving up. All of a sudden you can start hearing the note of the engine change. They don't have the grip, they can't go as fast. The leaders are doing 29 second laps still, but they are audibly slowing down. Tail end of the pack, 31 seconds. Zanny Littlewitz now. How slow are they gonna go? The top four have been caught by the rest of the field. What does the field look like at a distance? Looks like it's now really two packs that are a little bit scattered. Possibly a little bit of uh, loose condition spreading through the pack. Chaz Chadwick, however, has led every, rep, every lap so far. But we're only a third of the way through. Natalie Weiss is looking. Al Blanche in third. DeBlank fourth. What Army fifth. Tom Cording sixth. Gannon Bird uh, seventh. Gunner in eighth. Berger in ninth. Willpower in tenth. Also running their penultimate race. Tyler Shingle moves up to 11th. Trevor Walker in 12th. Alex San Vital in 13th. Andre Stefan in 14th. Cooper Dwight 
making some noise and making some moves in their first race. Currently 15th, looking for 14th. Gonna get it, get a nose ahead at least. Coming out of turn four, not gonna be able to hold. Stefan holds that position. But Stefan in the, Stefan just bumped, bounced off the wall, excuse me. My brain seems to be malfunctioning. Lucas Holmes, 16th. Slick Flame, 17th. Justin Dare, 2, 18th. Tim Corden, 19th. Usually the better of the two Corning brothers in this discipline. Nate Newman in 20th. Trying to take 19th away. Gets underneath in the middle of the turn. And cannot clear Corning at the line. Corning will retain. Daniel Palace, 21st. Lewis Truss, 22nd. Kellen Relich, 23rd. On, on the score sheet. Looking to pass both Trust and Cording. 44th on the sheet. Litowitz. 24th on track. Trost. Chadwick still leads. 27 laps down. Everyone is running 30 second laps. It's the wrong way. The field is scattering. The back portion of the field is getting it restless. I have to believe pit stops will be happening at some point. The back of the field is quite scattered. seems to be struggling the most of the front four. Cannot maintain the gap with Bush. Bunch. The field is starting to break up. That will continue as long as they keep going on all tires. Palace and Newman battling for 19th. It's a last points position. The top 10, excuse me, the top 11 with 12th being reeled in. Are pretty close. 13th on is where you see, oh, it would appear, I believe people are getting into the wall, and that's what's causing all these shakeups in the back. I'm not hearing anything scraping, but I'm, it's hard for me to believe anything otherwise. It doesn't take much contact for it to happen, and of course this is Darlington. The Darlington Stripe is almost mandatory for anybody who's driven around here at least once. Closing in on halfway here at Darlington. Chaz Chadwick has led every lap. Chadwick has not had a great season. However, because of how the points are working out, oh wait, before I even say anything, uh, that's not going to matter. Chaz Chadwick cannot win the championship, but he can get some prize money. It's half a million dollars to the winner of each race. That'll go a long way in shoring up the cup team, the truck team. And of course, you have Atlee Weiss in second. 
who is stepping back somewhat in his racing activities for Sigma. He's retiring from Cup. And there is, uh, and the word on the street is the team that the 19 is part of may be broken up in, in uh, the next few seasons. Weiss is looking into other ventures. And simply not going to have enough time. Brian DeBlank passes on the inside of Al Bunch. Al Bunch falls back to fifth. Looking to take that spot back somewhat, but that's you and one army in front of him. DeBlank looked like they were fading, but apparently not. The back of the pack has started to form up a little bit. Wild cards at the very back. Luis Trost, Nate Newman. We are officially halfway, halfway through this race. Jazz Chadwick has led every lap. Will this be the day? Will the Truck Series driver win in IROC for the first time? We've had Bush, we've had Cup, obviously, and we've even had Hot Shots. We have not had a truck driver win. Does that change today? Blank to the inside of Atley Weiss. What happened there? I guess Weiss just got a little high. The Blank looking for a win. None of it. None of the Blank Ryan the Blank seasons have gone to plan. The Truck Series has eluded him. Bridge to Cup was actually the best, and he only owns the cars that Rich Roy and um, John a blank. Kyler Sustre, excuse me. Sorry, Kyler. Kyler Sustre and Rich Roy were in the championship. Rich Roy was awful close. But then the Cup Series, he at one point completely bottomed out in the chase, is back up. But uh, didn't have a great Music City GP, and it's not looking good for the rest of the season. Two have set have stayed separated. Thirteenth through eighteenth are a group again, and only the, from nineteenth back is separate, and they're in two separate uh, small groups. Thirty laps to go this time by. They have got to be close. Move for the lead. For the first time, a challenge. And he's gonna do it with 
without any hesitation. Brian DeBlink goes to the inside. Pushes Chaz Chadwick high and takes the lead here at Darlington. DeBlink has been in the top five all race. Weiss, what army and bunch are your top three in the set in the trailing pack? What army is tired of looking at Weiss? And blows by going into turn one. Weiss is about to get front trained. The status quo has been messed with. We got people coming in. Lap 46 on track. Pit stops have started. Al Bunch leads down pit road. Trevor Walker. No. Slick Slick. Slick's Flame, I believe, was the first one to come down then. That or he had something up with his car. Maybe a flat. The rest of the field is coming in now. They're not going to let these guys have much of an undercut. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say Slick's Flame was the first one in. They're on lap 47 now. Everybody coming in now is on 47. He's got a chance to get up to speed. Considering he was at the back, why not? Lucas Holmes. Al Bunch is still going to come out ahead. But that's still a shift in momentum. Trevor Walker. Lucas Holmes. Nate Newman. Danny Littlewitz. Brian DeBlink is the first one of the, last of the leaders out. Then Chadwick. One army and courting. Who is leading? The blank has cold tires. Slicks for the undercut works. And with how much tire there drop off there was in the tires, I'm not surprised. However, Slick's Flame is on borrowed time now. It was around lap 20 that we started hearing things go south. He's got about 25 laps to make it to the end of this one. How hard will Slick's Flame press? How hard will Al Bunch press? Brian DeBlank. Al Bunch has one lap advantage over Slick's Flame when it comes to tire wear. Brian DeBlank has one over that. How will this field shape up once the tires settle in? Chaz Chadwick comes out fifth. Lucas Holmes sixth. In fact, let's do a full field run through. With a genius undercut, the only one to take advantage. The first one in, Slick's Flame. In the lead, Al Bunch in second. Brian DeBlank in third. Leaders, leader on the last bunch to come in. Trevor Walker at currently fourth. No stranger to fuel, uh, to fuel mileage strategy and tire strategy. Chaz Chadwick currently in fifth. Lucas Holmes sixth. You and what army seventh? Tom Porting in eighth. Gannonburg ninth. James Gunner. I don't know why I couldn't remember James all of a sudden. In 10th, in Alex Sanvital takes 11th on track. Tatum Bergen is currently 12th on track. Nate Newman currently 13th. Danny Littlewitz 14th. Will Power 15th. Tyler Shangle 16th. Daniel Palace 17th. Kellen Rolich 18th. Cooper Dwight 19th. Justin Deatu, 20th, out of the points. 
Andre Stefan, 21st. Louis Trust, 22nd. Tim Cording, 23rd. And Atlee Weiss, 24th. If there is one thing that can be determined, it is that Tim Cording and Tom Cording cannot run good at IROC at the same time. If there's anything else to be inferred, it's that Atlee Weiss had an absolutely god awful pit stop. at one point was second for a majority of this race and is now dead last out of points. Slicks Flame is leading, however that lead is shrinking. Bunch and DeBlank once again nose to tail as they were at the start of this race. is different. The car behind is different. Trevor Walker. Jordan Walker could not get these IROC cars figured out into attempts. Trevor Walker has and seems to have figured out this track as well. Chaz Chadwick still a notably good position. Can they catch up and make some noise? Lucas Holmes has surprised a lot of people. Most likely, well, considering they're the highest of the hot shots, there's a good chance they will be going uh, to Homestead for the finale. There will be some different looking cars in Homestead. But that'll come later. Union Army currently 7th. Tom Gordon currently 8th. Gannonburg 9th. Ganon Bird most likely will be at Homestead as well, as will Axan Vital in 11th. James Gunner, of course, as he is a regular. Jaden Berger in 12th. Nate Newman, 13th. Danny Littlewitz, 14th. Two races to go. Looking to make a splash in the standings. Will Power in 15th. Danny Palace, 16th. Kellen Rolich up to, uh, is in the points, currently 17th. Jacob Shangel in 18th. Cooper Dwight had a good showing, but uh, the under the uh, long stretch on pit on the track seems to have hurt them worse than normal. Justin Day two out of the points. Andre Stefan 21st. Luis Trust 22nd. At Luis up to 23rd. Tim Cording 24th. Dead last. Slicks playing still leads. Al Bunch got bump, got a bump. And Brian DeBlank is now in second. Will Trevor Walker make the pass on them? Looks to the inside. Not going to get it this lap. 61 appears to be very strong. We'll see how it goes at the end. He always manages to choke it up at the end. Chadwick able to close distance. Holmes and Cording all battling for sixth place. Seventh place, excuse me. Holmes uh, scrubs the wall going into turn one. Maintains momentum. We have a bunch of little packs. It seems like the draft is working for some people and just... The blank to the inside. Caravan's an idiot. Six Flame is, pa is passed on the inside by Brian DeBlink. He retakes the lead on lap 62. The crowd is stunned silent because he's done it again. Now can Trevor Walker make it three in a row for the hot shots? Can Slick's Flame recover? Can Chaz Chadwick recover? They had a strong car. Didn't get passed until the tires had well and truly fallen off.
No one came in on lap. The 47. So we're, we're only three or four laps away from everything falling apart. Grip wise. The top five are under a blanket again. Brian DeBlank has 11 laps. Can they make it? History says no. Trevor Walker has yet to win in this series. It's one of the few he hasn't. Slick Flame did well at Bristol and is looking to continue that. Reclaim second. The wild card Slick Flame saying, uh-uh, I'm not done yet. Al Bunch currently third. Walker and Chadwick battling for fourth. Walker has momentum on the outside at the line. It will be Chadwick in fourth. He'll have the inside advantage going into one. Clears cleanly. Top five are scattered out again. See the top three. whole lot of battles going on at the moment so we will stick with this lead slick slain leaving a gap between he and the blank Having trouble keeping their car in place, or is that by strategy? They're good on fuel. At least I hope so. Six laps to go here at Darlington. The blank is an odd duck. He's competitive, sometimes obnoxiously so. But he tries to do things as efficiently as possible. He has a reputation for doing well on the road courses. Luck just has not been with him in the Sigma series. Good luck rear its head here? Absolutely. Slick's flame. Had not had a good race all season. Hadn't finished better than 13th, and that was at Atlanta to start the season. Finishes third at Bristol, and now all of a sudden, once more, Al Bunch. Fourth at Atlanta, fourth at Cali. But no points at Vegas and no points at Bristol. And barely any points at Chicago. Chaz Chadwick. Out of contention. Best finish. Last event at Bristol. 11th. Before then, 14th at the Rockingham. Two laps to go. One of these four is going to be your winner. Trevor Walker is going to finish fifth, your highest hot shot of the race. And they're going to come in, go, they're going to go into the Homestead race with a chance for the championship as well. 
Something tells me the point structure may need to be re, uh, rejigged for season two. Brian DeBlank takes the white flag. Slicks Flame second, Al Bunch third, Chaz Chadwick at fourth, Bunch look to the inside of Six Flame. Can anybody catch the 61? That's gonna be a no. Somehow, the 61 has pulled a gap and Brian DeBlank wins the IROC 100 at Darlington. He is going to be so insufferable. But he won. Brian DeBlank is your winner. Slicks Flame second, Al Bunch third, Chaz Chadwick fourth, Trevor Walker in fifth. What Army 6th, Tom Cording 7th, Lucas Holmes 8th, Gannon Bird 9th, another great race for them, James Gunner 10th, Tatum Berger 11th, Nate Newman 12th, Alex Sambatal in 13th, gonna have to have a, have a discussion on whether or not they go to Homestead, they do have a win. And of course, Cooper Dwight, the other the last hot shot did not have a great race. So, as everybody makes it to their pits, on this quite awkward pit road, you see Wee's the last one to get in. Uh, we are going to take a breather here in the booth. We're going to find out what happened in the point standings, and we're going to try and figure this absolute cluster up Brian Glover actually won something everybody run so while uh, Brian the blank has a mental breakdown in victory circle let's go over the race obviously no cautions 74 laps such a shame for Aunt Louise to be up front so much and then it all just died. Brian the Blank is officially your winner. Slicks Flame in second. Al Bunch third. Chaz Chadwick fourth. Trevor Walker in fifth. Ewan Army in sixth. Tom Cordy in seventh. Lucas Holmes in eighth. Gannon Bird in ninth. James Gunner tenth. Tayden Bergeron in eleventh. Nate Newman in 12th, Alex Sanvital in 13th, Danny Littlewitz in 14th, Will Power in 15th, Daniel Palace in 16th, Kellen Rolich in 17th, Tyler Shangle 18th, Justin Deatu in 19th, and those three names were the hottest ones at the start of the season. Cooper Dwight 20th, Tim Cording, 21st, Andre Stefan, 22nd, Atley Weiss, 23rd, no points, and Luis Trost, 24th. So much for all those top fives. Looks like the back half of that uh, pattern may be continuing. We have had plenty of eliminations, however. Let's take a look. We'll go through the whole order. I mean, I'll be, I mean after a certain point, it really doesn't matter. But there is some heartbreak. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh. Is there some heartbreak? Okay. We have a change at the top. Keller Illich was able to make points. Finishing 17th, he earned 9 points, which means that that bar moved up to 229 minimum for to make to be qualified for the championship at Miami. That mark is at 14th. 220, uh, yeah, 14th. Justin Day 2 is no is not eligible by that mark. However, Kellen Rolich is no longer the points leader. You and what army? 
in the number one has taken the points lead. Four top tens this season out of seven races. 355 points, which is 25, 26 clear of Kellen Ehrlich. 30 clear of Danny Litowitz, who is in third. James Gunner in fourth with another top 10. Brian DeBlank jumps up to fifth with 301 points. Granted, he needs a good race at Miami. He's not shown consistency, so who knows? Outside shot. Luis Trost gains no points, falls back to sixth place. Daniel Palace in seventh. Will Power eighth. Trevor Walker returns to the field and is ninth in points. That's insane. Here's the problem, though. You might notice that number 255. If you've been paying attention, if you paid attention to the race screen, to the race results. First is 100, 20th is 0, and every position after 20th is 0. You can only earn 100 points in a race. Trevor Walker in ninth, even though he's failed to finish, he's fi not failed is the wrong word, he was not in the car for three races. Trevor Walker can still win the championship. Al Bunch cannot by two points. He can finish on the podium, but he cannot finish at the top. 253. He needs points that simply aren't there. Tyler Shangle is in 11th and is also out of contention. Our, our inaugural winner out. Alex San Vital. Worst finish so far of the four races. Out of contention. Slicks Flames out of contention. Justin Dare to. Uh, so much potential and it's all gone. Nate Newman is in 15th. Andre Stefan, 16th. All of the truck uh, contingent is out of contention. That's a tongue twister. Atlee Weiss is pretty much put the nail in the coffin for their season. Chaz Chadwick. Uh, and then from 20th on, it's just a mess. Gannon Bird finished ninth. Good finish. Uh, got some money, but that's about it. Tatum Berger and Gage, uh, the Cordings. And then you get into the part-timers. So what will happen at Miami? The roster is still in flux. Because he is in contention, Trevor Walker will be there. Now, Gannon Bird and Alex San Vital having won races, that's going to be a sticking point in the arguments at, head, at the... Sigma headquarters. Not so much that they'll be in the championship, but should they get to represent in Miami? Everyone else, yeah, they're eh, probably not. Uh, most likely, I mean, Lucas Holmes finished eighth. I saw Trevor Walker and then Lucas Holmes. They were within eye shot of each other. And Gannon Bird right behind. Those three have failed to have bad races all season. They need to be there. Alex San Vital has a race win. Finish, the worst finish of 13th probably needs to be there. What we may end up doing is we is because champion, the championship contenders know who they are now. We may have a blowout. We've got some extra cars. We may just expand the field to 30. Why not? 
Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, to Sigma News, as the decision will come from uh, come from the top. When it's decided, we will let you know. However, until that time, I am so happy that Bristol put on a good race. Uh, I'm an idiot, and my brain's and my brain is falling out. I am so happy that Darlington put on a good race. Bristol sucked. Was it the most exciting? In ways, no, but it was definitely a, a race that made you pay attention. Made me pay attention. And I'm Brian. Thank you for joining me in my racing realm. On behalf of Sigma and BRR, thank you all for watching. And until next time, take care.